Connor, welcome to stream, buddy. How are you guys going throughout the uh, self-isolation or social distancing, whatever term you prefer? I guess it depends on whether you live with other people as to whether it's social distancing or self-isolation. All right, jumping into our first turbo game, we'll grab the pair of Hog Riders and the Famine because Famine is basically the strongest one-cost hero now. Scales very, very well into the late game. Uh, yeah, if you're if you're fine playing Turbo Craig, I can add you to the next game. That's good to hear, Connor. Uh, so, give me some feedback too on the quality of the stream. Whether you're noticing any video lag, because we have had a lot of that in recent streams, uh, and that is what I'm trying to fix. The audio was always fine, but the video would often drop frames and stutter and pause for short periods of time. So trying to monitor that and make sure that it is smooth, which so far so good. Uh, what else do I want? I might grab Frost Lotus there. Just because Sorks is still decent if I can get early. Ooh, oh, all the pairs. Um, I'm going to grab both Lancelots, obviously. I'm actually going to sell the Frost Lotus so I can grab the pair of Bengars as well. Uh, with the strategy that I run, the Legends build, it is all about getting early two stars. So we want those pairs smooth as a baby's bottom. That is what I like to hear because that means it's running flawlessly. That's good feedback. Thanks, mate. It has been a long time since our last game. I, ha I must admit, I haven't been playing a heap of chess rush recently. Um, I don't know. I just find the meta... There's been some slight shifts, but it really hasn't changed all that much in what seems like a few months now. So I just got a little bit bored with it, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Let's see if we can make the, the Legends build work here. Ooh, another two star early. So we're, uh, we're looking good. What do I want to run? I might end up... I'm going to grab the Frost Lotus. I'm going to run a second... Oh, actually, no. That'll give us a second human, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um, the reason being, I'm anticipating... I might just put both armors on Famine there. Anticipating a round win with our multiple two stars, and that allows me to get that Venom. And early Venom is, uh, is pretty solid. Yeah, Call of Duty. Call of Duty is what I've been playing a ton of as well. They've recently added a 2v2 mode, which is so much fun. So I actually face up a Venom that our opponent has in an early beast build, but no two stars. We get a very comfortable win there and get that Venom of our own and match up. In fact, yeah, there we go. That was the same opponent, our board and their board. Um, this is what makes it fun for me though, Craig, is forcing the Legends build. It's only really viable in Turbo, um, but it's a challenge and the early game is so different every game because you're not forcing any build. You're just getting what the shop gives you without, ooh, Oh, okay. Yes. So just like that, now we have two two star, two um, undead, sorry, is what I'm trying to say there. Uh, I might actually sell Lancelot if you win this, to be totally honest, just to get to that interest cap. Hmm. An early two-star Lancelot's good too. Depends on how greedy I want to be. I think I'll go the greedier play, which is a sell Lancelot to get one extra crystal. The the quicker I can level, the quicker I can get to two stars that are more impactful. Three and four cost two stars. Are we going to win this? I think we will. Oh, come on, Bangar. Get the job done. Get the job done. There we go. All right, so sell off those Lancelots. Ten crystals. Let's see how we go. Um, definitely going to level. Might actually level twice. Grab the Scourge. Oh, actually, I can't quite. Uh, I'll grab the... Actually, let's grab the Nightingale. So I'm running two elves. Throw the other Venom out on the board too. Ah, would love a third Assassin, and I, I will pick up that Scourge if I win this round. Just so I have... Not the two Riders is amazing, but it's better than nothing. Uh, let me check while this round's underway. Still... 
Zero drop frames. That is what I'm most happy about because that really was the problem I was having. The drop frames was making streaming not really that reliable. Oh, I think we're going to lose this one. Oh, come on. Yes, Double Venom's getting it done. Yeah, Asana Free, I absolutely agree. The squad update... Oh, that Head Reaper is amazing. Um, it makes zero, zero sense to me. Um, at this point in time, don't actually need that. Let's run as many assassins as I can. Uh, essentially, what I got told a little while ago... Do I grab Siren there as well? Nah. Well, you need the three assassins. Um... I was, I was talking about why the, the ranks haven't been split to at least like a solo ladder and a team-based like co-op and squad clash ladder. And the reasoning was that um, squad, they, the, the dev team wants squad clash to be a, like a primary mode that people go to. And they felt like if they removed it from a merge rank, people would stop playing squad. So what they did instead was nerf the points aggressively and now people will stop playing squad so the end result has been the same people have stopped playing squad but it's still a merge rank which people don't really want that much either so it's a really really strange situation currently thanks connor i appreciate that i uh don't have a lot of experience with fox's tails but i assume that they're smooth and that is exactly what we're after with this stream so that is great news um i'm just gonna go who's my who's dealing the most damage for me actually yeah, let's, let's start spreading some of this out. So we'll go one there. Give these two a bit of armor and throw the other longsword there. I don't really care about that horn menace. I'm not looking to run six assassins with this build. If I get to end game and I do run three assassins, ideally they are Stinger and Head Reaper, which I already have, and then Sword Dancer as my third assassin to replace that Venom. But in the meantime, Venom is the best assassin to use until I can get that legendary. Uh, Executioner is good too. Now, in case you haven't noticed, the Executioner bug has been fixed. And what I mean by that, as we unfortunately lose another round, is uh, Executioner, which I've always been led to believe should always be silencing the highest targeting opponent, or highest opponent now, high, the very bottom here, high chance to curse the enemy with the highest level. And that high chance is like 60% in my experience. So it's not that high of a chance. So instead of fixing the bug, they just reworded the... Uh, the ability so that to save time on fixing the bug, I guess. It's kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. Um, don't really need Calamity, but if I don't two-star that Famine, I might just replace it with Calamity. It's not costing us interest, so there's no reason not to grab it at this point in time. Can I get a win? We are... There's two of us at a level eight. We're doing all right with Epic so far. We've got a couple. We do get a win here, I believe. Head Reaper will get that final blow. Oh, didn't actually happen. We get the win. We get the win. And the uh, the stream still has zero drop frames, which is incredible. So the other thing that I now need to test is I'm currently streaming at 720, so I need to see if I can go up to 1080 and still have zero drop frames. That'll be the, uh, the next little experiment. Now, if I actually sell that, we can level up here. So I might go ahead and do that. Um, okay, and... Ooh. Still only have those two two-stars that we got quite early, but we have some pretty strong one-star assassins, so I'm hoping that they can carry us early, or I guess we're mid-stage at this, almost round 10. We're definitely in the mid-game in terms of a turbo match. And the first elimination is because of us, too. That... Beast Druid Elf play never really got off the ground. All right. Um, I can do that and it won't cost me interest because we'll get that crystal from uh, the end of this round. I would love another longsword here. So I get to four. That would be nice. Some daggers too. Maybe a tome for our executioner. Oh, this bitrate is smooth. I'm loving the fact that my stream can now run seamlessly. 
it has been I don't know why my wireless just one day decided to, to play up and I got it like a lot better than what it was over a, a lot of troubleshooting over a week or two but it still just wasn't feasible every 30 seconds I was getting about a half second worth of drop frames which isn't fun to watch but now we are 11 minutes in with zero drop frames that is incredible I'm very, very happy with that. Just had to wait for a, an adapter to arrive so I could plug the Ethernet cable into my MacBook because it doesn't have... Ooh! Ooh! Now that's around. That's a very nice shop. Um, I think that's the play. I think that is the play and we'll absolutely go ahead and give her that Spellbane staff. Very, very nice. So we have our first legendary. Does anyone else have one yet? No. We win the race to the first. Oh, someone's got a two-star Sanzang already, though. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. Yeah, I'm curious to see exactly what the update will entail. So I know that they're going to be refreshing the treasure hunt. This is a problem for me. They're spending so much time on cosmetics as opposed to bringing quality content to the game. And cosmetics only go so far. Um, I don't play purely because of cosmetics. I play because I want a fun meta. And at the moment, it's not super fun. So yeah, we'll, we'll I think it's coming out Thursday my time or Wednesday for most of the world. So a couple of days, three days, roughly two and a half. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it gets fun again. Because right now, the only thing that I'm really finding fun is just trying to make legends work. Seeing how many legends I can get, seeing how many I can two-star. I can pretty cons pretty consistently top four, like go positive in terms of rank points with a legends build, but sometimes you just have horrible luck and we'll come in like sixth or seventh. This is a bad matchup for us at this point in time. Way too many two-stars for us to deal with. Uh, we do shut down the top player, though, so that's good to know. I guess not as many two-stars. Oh, no, he's got a ton of two-stars, too. Maybe just a little bit of better luck. Sometimes RNG happens. Uh, so we're very close to being able to go to... In fact, we might be able to do it here. <sighs> no, we won't be able to do it here. Because I want all of this. So next round, we will level up. Um... Do I sell one of those two stars to get that in now? I think I just, I think I just wait. We'll go to level 10 and get Sanzang in. That'll be the play. I'll put that tome there on that uh, Head Reaper. Now, obviously we want to save our gurus for the legends. We've still only got the one, but obviously we have a 6% chance when we do, ooh, Sword Dancer. Player currently in last position has found a Sword Dancer. Uh, but yeah, once we get to level 10, we have that 6% chance in the shop. So that should ramp up our uh, the odds or the uh, the frequency at which we start finding them. Ooh, we just clutch out that close victory. It's a draw, but a draw counts as a win. Uh, that's amazing. It's a very nice find, and that actually gets us that. Now we level up. Um... And just throw another one of those. I'm going to actually, well, no, I'll keep it on Joey until I two-star that Sanzang. I think she's more impactful at this point. A one-star Sanzang has not the great, it's only a 25% chance of, uh, of dealing their silence, his silence. So we'll keep it on Joey to get her stun and area of effect nuclear bomb off as quickly as possible. Uh, and we're still somehow sitting second overall, even though we... Oh, we've got a few more two stars now, but... Oh, oh, actually, this might be another L for us. Head Reaper, come on. Come on, Head Reaper. Clutch it out. All right, we don't take too much damage. Uh, we have two eliminations already, though, which is nice. Let's see what else we find in the shop. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Hello! Now we're talking. Okay, so at this point in time, I absolutely want to do that. Um, 
Might keep that great sword right there, actually. I might give Head Reaper a bit more armor as well, just because he's a little bit more impactful than Stinger in terms of how much damage he can put out if he survives long enough. Stinger does that area of effect, that 180 degree damage directly in front and to either side, which is useful, but Head Reaper's ability is so strong. Uh, okay, another staff. We're definitely going to throw that one on Sanzang. And then this is the fun part of this build. Now I can put that tone back there. Is you literally just spend all your crystals every round looking for as much as possible. Uh, there's another upgrade for us. Uh, and I will lock that shop because there is our second legendary. Well, to be honest, Craig, we're already at round 16 and I only have two legendaries, so it's not the luckiest game. It's not the unluckiest game either. This is like about maybe a little bit less than what I would expect on average. So I would say, yeah, this is a little bit under average this game, but... Oh, no, we've got the Shakaraka too, so probably about average. I forgot about him. Probably about average. But we should be looking pretty good as we get another elimination here. Um... This, this build generally matches up very well against Sorcerer builds and all of our remaining opponents are Sorcerers, so we should be in a very, very strong position from here on out. Uh, Misfortune, Void Doom will replace those two or le other legends and obviously we can find that two-star Sanzang. Ooh! Um, okay, at this point, we've got enough two-stars that I think doing this and we don't have Assassins that we have to worry about. I think doing that is actually a decent play. I think it's actually a decent play. Uh, I'll spin one time. Nothing there. So, I mean, it's a shop full of uh, four costs, but nothing that we particularly need. We do have four legendaries on the board. They all are all one costs. But a one, once you've got enough two stars, having a one cost legendary over a two star, sorry, having a one star legendary over a two star one cost is definitely the way to go. You just don't want to do it too early when you don't have a ton of two star heroes on the board because you need like a critical mass of two star heroes to pull it off. Um, don't need to throw that in for Undead. Obviously, we don't have Warlock yet, so at this point in time, I will keep the two-star Calamity until I find Void Doom or until I two-star the Misfortune anyway. Who's our DPS leader? So Stinger is actually putting out a fair chunk of damage. I guess because Sorcerer builds all kind of stick together in the back, so she's hitting multiple targets at once. Can we find that Sword Dancer too? So, oh, no. One opponent does have a Legendary. But we're on a pretty good win streak now. We're looking very, very, very good to take this one out. What do I get out of this shot round? Another legendary. It's two cyborgs. <laughs> Things are coming together very, very nicely. And we've taken out four of the five eliminated opponents. Uh, and some of those builds, actually two sorcerer builds and beasts, druids, I know Beasts, Assassins are very, very popular in the meta right now, but I think they're a little bit stronger in Classic than they are in, in Turbo. All right, let's see how we do against the number one opponent. Nice hit from Joey there. Executioner targeting Sanzang. Oh, perfect for us. We might get another elimination here. Oh, no, it might not be enough. Might just survive, I think. Four, four HP left. Uh, oh, perfect. Perfect. I will just wait at 10. Really want that two star Sanzang. Um, Void Doom and Sword Dancer as well. Although, would I. I guess we've got two sharks, so I could put Sword Dancer out without taking out Venom, but for now, a one-star Sword Dancer, two-star Venom, I'd probably keep the Venom. 
Venom's ability is also very, very strong. How are we doing with our uh, still zero drop frames 21, 21 minutes into the stream? Uh, I think at this point we can officially call my uh, drop frame issue fixed and resolved, which is amazing. So I'll be able to more consistently stream, which I've been wanting to do during this uh, period of uh, self-isolation, but it hasn't really been super viable with the way my stream was bugging out as we get ourselves another upgrade there. Woohoo! Oh, I probably didn't need to spin that one, but that's all right. Okay, we're looking in a very good position. The most expensive build... A Ooh, there's also a uh, two-star Nerja that we're up against. Not this opponent. This opponent. Where is it? I'm trying to see it. There he is. The Lotus Prince. Do we beat it? Do we beat that? We need, a so we need our executioner to get lucky in silencing, which I think he may have, actually. So we do actually win that one, and we win on our board. So... We're on a big win streak now. Let me have a look at the length of that win streak. Five. I feel like, feel like it should actually be a little bit longer than that. Ooh. Is that four? No. That's not four long swords just yet. Anyway, can we get another upgrade? Haven't used that guru yet, but don't need to. Ooh, lock that. Please and thank you. Um, one, two... Yeah, I don't have all the long swords. We'll go ahead and go ahead and do that. Definitely want to grab that second Neja. And that this might be the time where I think about taking Venom out. Just to get all those legendaries out there on the board and use that guru to two-star something. Ooh. That was close. Do we uh, eliminate? Yes, we do. <laughs> Five eliminations, and we're looking for six. So we win this one. Can I get another upgraded legendary? <laughs> well, absolutely do that now. Absolutely do that now. Woo! And still got that guru in the bank. No need to spend it yet, because I'm not losing. This is the crazy thing about this build. Look at my comp. It's three assassin, two elves, two undead, two cyborg, two eastern, and a demon. And we're smashing these sort comps. Uh, and by smashing, I mean slightly losing. Come on, come on, clutch it out. I think we got it. Bang, there goes the nuke. Okay, so that was close, but we do win it. Now, I'm hoping we find one more legendary here so that, that lets me know I can get two upgrades with the Guru as well. Do I get lucky? One more chance. Yes, I do. <laughs> but it doesn't give me two upgrades, but I will use that on Sword Dancer because she's going to be super impactful here. And... Let's just go and give her that great sword, I guess. Actually, let's give her that as well. That one-star Sanzang ain't doing a whole lot. In f oh, I was a split second too late. I was actually going to chuck out that second war machine. Um, now, we only just won the last round, but we did upgrade here, so I feel like this should be a more comfortable win. And this might be the game right here. There it is, Joey. Oh, my goodness. Bang, bang, bang. That'll be 15 health, and that is all she wrote. First game on stream... Zero drop frames, which I'm most happy about. I fixed the streaming problems I was having, and we've upgraded to Diamond 4. There we go. The Legends comp, getting it done in game one. We get ourselves 500 gurus purchased since achievements came in. There we go.